It happened 10 years ago, roughly. Um, I don't remember the exact date, but I remember at the time I was working as a line cook in a place called Speed Burger. So it was definitely during the summer of 2009. Um, I had been on 4chan for a year and a half, something like that. I never remember when I discovered 4chan, but it was definitely either at the end of 2007 or the beginning of 2008. I always discover a lot of new things during the winter because uh, I don't like going outside when it's cold, so I stay usually on my computer all day long. And uh, so, of course, that brings always a lot of discoveries, whether it's because recommendations from friends or just pure serendipity. But I was spending quite a lot of time on 4chan um, in 2009. It was probably my main activity, apart from work, was 4chan. Um, I spent sometimes whole nights on there, doing pressing F5 on a epic fail guy thread, making my own variations of the my name is John and I hate every single one of you copy paste out. And um, 2008, 2009 was like the big explosion of what is generally referred to as advice animals. It all started, of course, the real ones remember or know that it started with uh, advice dog. That's why they're called advice animals. And the first picture was like this dog on this rainbow uh, background that said buy pizza pay with snakes and after that there was such a lot of you know variations on it there were like uh, courage wolf we all remember this one awkward penguin that was a, a favorite and of course the foul bachelor frog uh, which was my favorite and probably still is because there hasn't been a lot of new things in advice animals since, well, 2009. So I really loved the Foul Bachelor Frog and all its variations, like the Blast It With Peace one or the Destroy Humanity one. A lot of great, great stuff. And uh, lots of fond memories. And it's with within this... Uh, wave of advice animals that after a while and uh when i say after a while probably after a year because they are they really appeared in the middle of 2008 and by the middle of 2009 people on 4chan were like kind of sick of them and so they started like making new ones with more and more layers of irony uh, built into them and um, sometimes it was intentional sometimes it was not maybe a little bit of pose law in there but uh, yeah uh, there were some that were like ironic the word shitposting did not exist at the time um, so we just called it the lulz l-u-l-z and um, yeah there were a lot of new ones, a lot of them were poking fun at Reddit, which was like the enemy at the time. And um, a lot of ones were just, just plain fucking weird. And um, yeah, in the summer of 2009, on 4chan, there was like an explosion of new advice animals. Every day you saw people who were making like shittier and shittier one, trying to exploit smaller and smaller niches um, and uh, you know the more and more obscure trends and references and um, I, I remember the apex of it it was just one day someone 
uh, created a thread with a um, picture of a, of a squid who liked Justin Bieber and uh, the name of the meme was musically challenged squid and like the, the reactions were unanimous you know that's everyone's were like musically challenged squid okay this is going too far now we, we gotta stop uh this whole animal advice uh meme it's yeah okay this is the lowest point it should reach we should we should not go deeper uh everyone was like musically challenged musically challenged squid really like did, did, is that is this ironic or is this double ironic or is this fucking serious and um this whole thread i really hope I had a screenshot of this and maybe I have and forgot about it and one day I will find it in some old uh, USB thumb drive or something like that and I will be like, yes! Or maybe I will be like, oh, this is not as funny as I remembered. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just a small thread and the whole musically challenged squid meme lasted maybe 48 hours. Like it was really short-lived and uh, it, it 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 was a miscarriage of a meme it um it disappeared pretty much as fast as it uh, appeared but uh it left a very lasting impression on myself that that, that was basically the moment when it really clicked and uh, that that I became really kind of obsessed about memes and um, especially the shitty ironic ones and I started really collecting them at that point and that really really ephemeral evanescent fleeting uh, <laughs> musically challenged squid uh, was actually a huge moment for me um, and uh, kind of a kind of one of these life-defining moments. Even if uh, the meme really, yeah, disappeared in less than two days, and I, I'm not even sure you can find traces of it. Maybe on Neuer meme, I'm not even sure. Maybe on Encyclopedia Dramatica. Uh, but yeah, the musically challenged squid. It was ten years ago. It was just one thread, and then it got reposted a couple of times, and it died. But it never died in my heart and um, it was uh, a huge driving force for a lot of internet endeavors uh, of mine and um, maybe the guy who created it is watching this and if so thank you um, maybe it was just a joke and you forgot about it the next day but I never forgot about it. I, I remember very clearly uh, this 4chan thread of the musically challenged squid. And uh, it's shortly after that that I started uh, shitposting on social media. I uh, opened my first shitposting account on Tumblr a few weeks after that. And then Facebook, MySpace. Um, Google Plus, etc. I remember you, musically challenged squid. And uh, for everyone else, thanks for watching. See you really soon. Stay hydrated. Very important. Don't forget to smash that motherfucking like button. See ya.